my god. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at the law of syllogism, its concepts and the steps on how to evaluate one. So let's begin guys. So first of all guys, we're going to be taking a look at the law of syllogism, the concept. So we're going to take a look, of course, at the definition. So the law of syllogism states that given two true conditionals, so we have to assume that they're both true, with the conclusion of the first being the hypothesis of the second, there is a third true conditional having the hypothesis of the first and the conclusion of the second. Now, this may seem confusing. Let's try looking at the formula. So basically, it says that if P, then Q, and Q, then R, are true, which we are going to be assuming that they are true, then there is a third statement or a third conditional which says that P, then R is true. Now, remember, the law of syllogism says that if P then Q and Q then R are both true, then we can jump from P to R straight away. So then it means that P to R is also going to be true, right? So let's take a look at some examples. So the first one is, if his name is Jose, he is Veronica's brother, and we're going to assume that is true, right? If he's Veronica's brother, his last name is Jepes. Let's assume that one to be true. So that means that if his name is Jose, he is going to be Veronica's brother. And if he's Veronica's brother, his last name is going to be Jepes. So that means that if his name is Jose, his last name is going to be Jepes. So we're going to jump straight away because the conclusion of the first one is the hypothesis of the second one okay so they are going to kind kind of cancel each other out now let's try taking a look at another example so for example if you eat too much you get a stomach ache right and if you get a stomach ache you want to rest let's assume they are both true so that means that if you eat too much you will get a stomach ache. And if you get a stomach ache, you want to rest, right? So it's, it's a chain of events. So that means that if you eat too much, then you want to rest. And this is the law of syllogism, guys. So what happens is that you can skip these steps and you can go straight to the, to the second conclusion. If you eat too much, you want to rest. And that is going to be a true statement as well, because we have to assume that the first two are true. And that is basically the rule of syllogism, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.